Ahoy, pilots! Seth here. One of the keys to a good landing is a stabilized approach, where a constant airspeed and descent angle are maintained throughout the descent to landing. In this video, I'll show how to use Cloud Ahoy to debrief your approaches and evaluate their stability. You'll see how to identify approaches in the Segments Manager, and how to use segment information graphs to determine how stable an approach was. We'll look at two examples, a visual approach at the end of a traffic pattern, and an instrument approach at the end of an IFR cross-country flight. Let's start by identifying approaches within a flight's segments. This flight's the first solo of a student pilot in Laconia, New Hampshire. Cloud Ahoy has automatically segmented the flight into its various phases and displays the flight's segments in a hierarchical list in the Segments Manager. It's possible, especially when debriefing traffic patterns such as these, that the approach segments may be down a level or two in the hierarchy. In order to make approaches easy to find, any hierarchy of segments that contains an approach has a black arrow to expand and collapse the hierarchy. With these segments expanded, you can see that Cloud Ahoy indicates segments that are part of an approach using a black and yellow segment information icon. Also notice that the segments that make up the descent to landing have been grouped together into a hierarchy, starting with the portion of the downwind where descent begins and including the base and final. Having identified the approach we'd like to debrief, we can declutter the primary view so that it only shows the pattern containing the approach. First, we want to see where the descent started. Cloud Ahoy uses darker blue segment colors to indicate ascent and lighter blue colors to indicate descent. So we can see that the pilot started his descent here, very close to a beam the numbers. Next, we want to check the aircraft speed and altitude during the descent. To do that, we'll open the info window for the descent to runway 26 hierarchical segment by clicking its segment info icon. Because this is a hierarchical segment, the graph also shows the segments beneath it. Clicking the segment information icon for any one of the subsegments will show a graph of just that segment. This graph shows the aircraft's altitude as a solid line and its airspeed as a dashed line. The dotted green line shows the average slope of the descent. The average slope is also shown numerically above the graph. The altitudes and airspeeds are plotted relative to the distance from the touchdown point, which is shown along the x-axis. We can see that the descent started in the downwind at about 1400 feet MSL and at 100 knots. The student slowed down and maintained 80 knots on the base and final. On the short final, a half mile from touchdown, he began to slow and finally touched down at just under 60 knots. A glance at the graph shows that where the airspeed varied, so did the slope of the descent. Where the airspeed was constant, the descent was too. This illustrates that establishing a constant speed and then trimming the plane will result in a constant, stabilized descent. The next flight we'll look at is an instrument approach into Bedford, Massachusetts. The approach is shown in 2D with the FAA procedure overlaid in magenta in the primary view, and in 3D in this floating view. At the bottom of the screen is the segment info window for the final approach segment. Again, the hierarchy containing the approach is indicated with a black expand collapse arrow. The descent from 1800 feet begins at the final approach fix. At two miles from touchdown, the airspeed stabilizes at around 95 knots. A mile from touchdown, the aircraft slows until it lands at 55 knots. Once the airspeed stabilized, the pilot maintained a consistent and stable descent slope. This can also be seen by looking in 3D. The blue flight track closely matches the published magenta glide path. The 3D cockpit view provides another way to evaluate the approach. We can use the cockpit view to see whether the approach was above, on, or below the glide slope. The VSI shows how consistent our descent was, and the airspeed tape shows variation in speed. When practicing shooting several instrument approaches, Cloud Ahoy automatically identifies the location and altitude of taking the mist and you can debrief the approach leading to the mist just like what we saw before. A stabilized approach is the key to a good landing. Cloud Ahoy makes it easy to identify and evaluate your approaches during debrief, allowing you to make adjustments and improvements the next time you fly. You can find additional tutorials and help topics at help.cloudahoy.com. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, please email feedback at cloudahoy.com.